What's up, Gemini? Welcome back to Pink Scorpion Intuitive Readings. It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, where I come to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. Gemini, before I get off into this reading, I'm going to say this before I, because I tell you to stick around and wait to the end of the video for an important message. Then by the time I get to the end of the, the, the video, I don't forgot what the fuck I was supposed to tell you. Even though I got it wrote down right in front of me, I get so into the reading to where I forget what the important message is. So I'm going to say it before I start off into this reading. Still sick, still sick, stick around to the end of the video. Okay. But for those of you that still, like you go to clubs, bars, um, I have two messages. One, Start covering your drinks with a napkin. Two, if you're at the bar or you met somebody at the bar and you don't feel safe, they have a, a special secret word or secret drink, secret drink that you can request. And this will have the bartender to attend your needs to help you if you are in distress or something. But you're secretly, all you do is walk up to the bartender, which a little baby, and we ask for angel shot, okay? The angel shot has three ways you order it. It depends on what your, what your issue is. If you need the bartender to call the police for you, you ask for an angel, a lime angel shot. Gemini. If you need someone to walk you to your car, you just tell the bartender you want a neat angel shot. And if you, say in instance, you roll with somebody and um, a male, and they, they drunk, or a female, and you don't trust riding with them, then you can order, hey, stop it. You can order a, uh, a lot an angel shot on the rocks. Okay. Those will help. Those are secret things to help you when you are at a bar somewhere. Just come. Okay. So, remember, it's called the angel shot. An angel shot line is to call the police. An angel shot, a neat angel mm -hmm. shot is for somebody to walk, to walk you to your car because you feel unsafe and an angel shot on the rocks is for the bartender to call you an uber a lift or a taxi okay so i got that out the way my sweet i'm gonna tap into this energy and see what's the what is surrounding you okay holy spirit holy angels show me the energy I'm asking the Holy Spirit and Archangel Michael and all of my angels and guardians to protect me from any negative energy that may come out of this reading and protect me from the evil eye that people try to send to me. I reverse it and I return it back to Sunday. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, thank you in advance. Okay. So, okay, Holy Spirit. What is the overall energy? True love and great gratitude is something. When it comes to true love, some of you feel like you're you're <clears throat> you're not showing gratitude 
when it comes to love because you feel like there is no such thing as true love. You've been going back and forth with an individual. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. And you don't believe this person truly loves you. Because they're, it's like, they are not um, showing commitment towards you. Or they haven't proposed a commitment towards you. Not even to be, for you to be their girlfriend or their boyfriend. Or their girlfriend. Um, for some of you, the reason this person is going back and forth with you is because they're tied in with some other commitment. They have a commitment elsewhere. And I don't think it's to a person. They're committed to some sort of uh, artistry that they have. Some gift or some talent they have. I gotta take this gum out of my mouth. It just, it just got me just smacking. But yeah, um, this person is on a creative endeavor, endeavor. I can never pronounce that word. But this is why they're going back and forth with you. This is why they haven't committed to you. This is why you feel like they don't truly love you. But they're planning in action, taking action. They're planning. Mm -hmm. It's just they got, they have um another event going on mhm mm they they they're committed they're committed to this uh they could be having a show for something that they do this is why you know they're they're not committed to you and you are you Gemini are in the energy of not believing in true love again and not showing gratitude but don't do that because you're selling yourself short you're cutting yourself off you're cutting your windpipe off okay when you're not showing gratitude it's it may just not be time for you to find true love god the most high wants the perfect gift of a person for you that's made only for you so this person that has you going back and forth. I can't tell you to wait for them and I can't tell you to leave. But the reason they are going back and forth with you is because they are they are working on some sort of creative, it's an event they're working on. And this person, they're they're not really talking to you about it, but they don't they don't want no one to um like to have any negative thoughts about whatever this uh, event that they got going on. Okay. And right now they can't be the loving man because they're working on this project. They don't want their money. They don't want to lose money. And if they, if they, it's like this event that they're doing, if they, get with you right now they're they're feeling like you're gonna strip them of their power mm -hmm. yeah Gemini and if they if say for instance like if you start fooling around with this person that this event is somewhere else. And maybe they've missed an event behind sexing with you and too tired to get up and go do what they're supposed to do. And right now, they ain't, they're not happening. Nope, they're not happening.
even though Gemini, you have a healing light and you have a good spirit and you connect with the ascending masters, this person is kind of staying clear of you right now. This is why they're going back and forth with you. Okay, okay spirit, tell me about the healing light of Gemini. the healing light. You're hiding it. You have you have a uh you got the whole world in your hands. Yeah. You're you're a healer. Behind the mask you are a healer. Okay. And this could be, this is part of the reason why you're not finding true love because you're chosen. Okay. It's your intentions, Gemini, to continue being behind a mask. You can't, you can't do that because you connect with spirit. And may you feel like you may feel like the relationship ain't going nowhere. You can't pre you can't present no power to this person. Okay, spirit. So what is the advice for my Gemini's? Talk to spirit, the vast universe. You need to continue to connect with spirit. Don't focus on this person right now. Because they focused on something else. And in order for you to keep your heart from being broken, focus on yourself. And when they come around, they'll come around. Just don't be breaking your neck when they come around. Start focusing on you. Do something that's going to make you happy. Um, start showing yourself love. Uh, do your hair different. Um. Go to the spa, um, go to um, the gym, go walk on the beach, put your headphones on and um, leave one ear out so you can hear what's going on with the outside world. But put your headphones on and, and put your little, your little, uh, your little, you know, your spandex and all of that little cute stuff, your little running shoes. Mm -hmm. and go run, go walk go hang out with some of your friends don't focus on this person because not only are you making him go back and forth, you're making yourself go back and forth when true love is for you it'll get to you okay what God has for you is for you so when you when, when, when the person that the most high has for you you know, God, the most high, when he has somebody for you, you're not going to be going back and forth because he's not going to send that type of energy to you. No, he's not. He knows your heart and he knows that what, what it's your, you're right now. You're not believing in love. And he realized that you're not showing gratitude because of the person that's going back and forth with you. Now, again, I can't tell you to wait for this person and I can't tell you to leave. But what I can do and what my job is to tell you is to focus on yourself right now. Okay, focus on yourself. Do something for yourself. Spend time with family. Get out and, and connect with spirit. Okay. Wow, wait a minute. Um... my phone because today I went to the park Gemini hold on let me get my phone I'm having a hot flash right now so I went to the park today Gemini I went, you know, since I had the stroke, um, I have to walk 
20 minutes a day. And um, I went to, I went for my little walk and then I went to the park. I walked to the park and this is something I spirit been telling me to do. I did half of it, but I didn't do exactly like you told me to do. But what I did do, I wrote it down and spirit told me to go to the park. And when I go to the park, it's a bench that I sit on. I call it my own little private bench. Everybody knows that I sit at that bench all the time. I take my dog over there. That's the spot where we go and play catch and everything. Okay, and um, so I was sitting at the park and I just started, you know, just looking around because spirit gives us messages 24-7, all right? He gives us messages. The messages come in birds, it comes in the, um, the wind, the air, it's, it's just certain things that happen, butterflies. And so I was sitting at the park and I'm reading, I'm going to read what I was, what I was writing down. And I was like, I could, I could just do a whole reading on this without no cards. But as I was sitting at the park, I looked up at the sky and it was one pretty ass, single ass cloud in the sky. The rest of the sky was blue, okay? Now, someone is feeling like a single cloud in the air, surrounded by blue skies. It's peaceful and content, and you're slowly drifting away from the darkness. That's what I heard as I looked up at that cloud in the sky. It was no other clouds, none. But it was that one, like something just came in the middle of the sky and pooed it. That one pretty ass beautiful white cloud was just there. And I looked around like no other clouds, okay? And I sat there lifted up sat there and um smoked my little blunt mm -hmm. and um i was just sitting there and spirit said you go on now jackie and get you some messages so as i sat there okay the cloud was 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 slowly getting further and further away from me right then these three birds, these three, I don't know, they're not crows. They was three little black birds. Those three little black birds. Now, Gemini, this, tell me if this energy is your energy. Okay, put it in the comments. If this is your energy, if this is what you're feeling like, if you're feeling like a cloud, you know, in the air, singled out by yourself, but it's peaceful. It's like you're peaceful being by yourself. Okay. And then as I was sitting there, as I stopped watching the clouds, there was three little black birds, right? Now, Gemini, you, you guys remember the reading I did about them three chickens, them three crows, them three birds. I know this message is for you now, now that I'm thinking about it, because I said, okay, someone is walking towards three people, them three crows, right? This black birds, three of them were standing there in a little thing pecking on the ground. And then this one bird flew in and he came over there by him. And is I start, I was listening, as I was looking at the birds, I was getting the message. I was watching what was going on. See, things that happen with birds actually happens to us in real life. If you ever really sat down 
and you seen some birds and you compared them birds to the things that's going on in your life, I bet they match. Now, I was sitting there and they said, you know all three of these people, but they acting funny, so you walk away and then they follow you. Now, this is what them birds was doing. That one bird flew with the rest of them three birds. Them three birds, like they like start pecking and, and looking down at the ground like they don't want to be bothered. And the crazy thing is, I got a picture of that in a deck of my cars, the exact same thing without the house, without the bird house I have in my deck of cards. And it was shown to me in the spirit realm today. And I'm going to show you this card. Now, Gemini. If those of you, if you you ready to leave, um, because we healing over here, and I don't, I'm not holding you hostage. If you don't want to sit and listen to to the message, you're more than welcome to hit that thumbs up button and come back and listen, because this is important. And I'm gonna find this bird. It's these birds in the deck. It's the birds of a feather flock together. Okay, these three birds. It's like if it's if this is your energy, Gemini, you walk towards three people. And these people was trying, they was acting funny towards you. And they kind of gradually walked away from you while you trying to hold a conversation with them, and they kind of gradually walked away from you. They all started acting funny. But see, these people. I don't know who this is for. It's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. And if this is your story, put it in the comments. But these three people, you, it's like when you come around and they act all funny and shit, like they ain't paying you no attention. They try to ignore you and all of that type of energy. And then when you, when you start noticing that energy, you fucking walk away, right? You walk away. And when they notice you walking away from them, this is what these birds was doing. That one bird was trying to trying to communicate with them and, you know, chill with them. And they was acting funny. And then he was like, fuck y'all. I go over here and find my own little, you know, pieces of, of, of whatever, branches or whatever. I'll build my own shit, you know. It's like, that's how how they was acting. So, but then, as soon as this little bird started walking off, the other birds, they started hopping towards him. But then, it's like, when he would like, hop around, and honest to God, this was happening. I should have just pulled my video out, my camera. That's when I'm going to start doing videoing and doing the messages out in nature without using cards. But this, this bird, as he hopped around and looked back at them birds, they all turned they back like they wasn't paying attention. So that's somebody's energy, okay? Somebody is around some motherfuckers that acting like they ain't paying you no attention, but you got a social platform out there and them motherfuckers is following you. They following you. I want to show you the picture because it's exactly what these, how these birds was acting. Like this. The only difference is it was no birdhouse. But you see how this bird flew is flying in like he wanting to come and communicate with them and they acting like they don't know him. That's how them birds was, but it was no birdhouse there. So it's that's the energy. It's somebody out there. They could be gossiping. Okay? They could have been gossiping about you. And when you flew up, they had to drop the conversation. I don't know who that's for, but it's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Okay. And also, I got an energy as I was sitting in the park with some birds. Okay. I was watching the birds. I bullshit you not. And these are the messages that I got from the birds. Okay. There's a couple. They're going their separate ways because of a third party. Um, there was these two birds 
And then this one bird came. When this one bird came, it was the third party. That other bird, it left the other bird and followed that third party. Then that bird that was still on the ground, it flew. And it went the same way those other birds. But then it went separate. So this person, they went their separate ways and somebody went to another lover. They separated, but they quickly had somebody right there waiting for them. They could have had already uh, had this person waiting or was just telling them, well, I got to break up with, with Gemini first before I, you know, before me and you hook up. And then we go our separate, they, me and Gemini go our separate ways. Me and Queen go our separate ways. But that's what, what was um, um, was shown to me. Also what was shown to me, a masculine energy. They got kicked out. This masculine energy is driving a white, raggedy ass truck. Okay? And he he's he's those three birds is still following but a masculine energy out there with a raggedy ass white truck got kicked out today and gemini i don't know if that's your person you could have kicked your person out um the person you going back and forth with they could they could what drive a white truck and you're not going back and forth with them no more um i don't know but that's the messages i received when i was out in nature Okay, Gemini. So I'm going to stop right there because my little kitten came and hopped up here and then laid right across the cards. So if this reading resonated with you, please put it in the comments for me. Okay. If it's your energy, if this is your story out of one of these stories of um, three people acting funny, walking away towards you, walking away from you, but they still following you on your social media platform. When they see you in real life, they not... They don't talk to you, but they following your fucking ass. Yeah. Yeah, they following you. Mad and watching. Some 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 insecure, obsessive motherfuckers is watching. Gemini. Some disconnected from reality ass motherfuckers. That's them three birds. The angry, hateful, and resentful ass motherfuckers. Those three birds. Okay. They are holding grudges and jealous of you, playing the victim, and they're delusional, ass motherfuckers. So that's what you're dealing with. If this reading resonated, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Peace.